channel. Today I am back with a new in video. So I just hit my arm here. I have a little bit of a new setup. We finally kind of am getting getting it sorted in the new place which is really nice. It's weird because I didn't do a video last week and that was because if you follow me anywhere else other than this channel you would have seen that I got engaged. I can't believe it. Very very unexpected um, but yeah absolutely amazing. I did a blog post on it so if you want to have a little nosy about that and find some more details if you want not obliged, bit soppy, I'll put that all down below as well. But for today I am back talking you through some of the new in pieces in my wardrobe because it's been a little bit of a while and I have acquired a few things over the last few weeks so I thought I'd share them and show you what's new in my wardrobe. So first things first I'm going to talk you through one of my favourite new additions and it is from Finery and they're a brand that you might have heard about or seen me mention before, I've done a few blog posts including this amazing red ruffle top and these amazing striped trousers. I think I must have mentioned them in a previous video, but today I'm talking about this blouse, which I am obsessed with. It's got this little pussy bow as well, which comes around, and it's this amazing pink silk, kind of ruffled, almost 70s, kind of, it reminds me a little bit of the Gucci stuff that's around at the moment, the kind of autumn winter collection, it's just the coolest thing, and it's some finery. It's designed by Alice Levine, so it's part of her collection, and I think it's called their Forever Pieces collection. But it's a new piece from her, and I'm just totally in love with it. I think it's absolutely amazing. Looks really cool with kind of collots or like more wide leg jeans. Great with dungarees. And it's just a really nice kind of day to evening piece. It would look great kind of with a suit as well. I think that would be amazing. And yeah, I'm just so excited about this. I was just, it's just all the things I look for in a piece like frills, pink kind of 70s but just I absolutely love it and I think it's gorgeous I've seen quite a few people wearing it I think my friend Catherine wore it Laura Jackson's been wearing it and it just looks amazing so big love for this a couple of other items that I've added recently have been from H&M I haven't been into H&M in a really really long time um I don't think it's down to any particular reason I don't love shopping on their website mainly because I can't see the things I often want and I feel like since I've featured these pieces a few people have been like I can't see them online so but I absolutely love their in-store experience I feel like I always go in there especially at the moment I went into the Oxford Street branch the one that's kind of in the middle of Oxford Street and I found so much I think they must have just put out the new collection because I was like oh my god I found everything I was kind of looking for I mean I was looking for one thing and I found it and that one thing is this dress and I'd seen this on my friend Charlie and on my friend Rachel and they looked absolutely amazing in it. I think Charlie wore it with espadrilles, um, can't remember how they both styled it, I'm not going to reel that off. But um, I saw this and I was absolutely in love with it. It's this really beautiful like broderie on glaze kind of smock dress. It's a sky blue colour with a ruffle and huge sleeves which I'm all for. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. The only thing is it's not particularly cheap, I think it was about mm, £69. Which obviously isn't extortionate, but I think for a dress that is unlined without pockets, it's definitely on the higher end of High Street. And I do love it. Again, it's kind of, it's not too see-through. It's got the little kind of, you know, what are they called? Like holes in the fabric, the kind of, part of the fabric basically. Um, but I kind of style that out by wearing like little nude cycling shorts, which is very glam. You can wear a little slip underneath, so it can be combated. It's not the be-all and end-all, but... I just think it's something to be aware of if you're picking it up. But I absolutely love it. I've worn it a few times already. It looks really gorgeous with little trainers, equally nice with espadrilles, and it's just a really great throw on summer piece. So absolutely love that. Another piece I picked up in H&M is this silk maxi dress. I think it's maxi. Yeah, it pretty much is. And I am absolutely obsessed with this. I saw it hanging out. There's only a few of them left, and I was like, I gravitated towards it. Because I think with the wrap at the moment, wrap dresses kind of have that reformation. I don't know, the, th the American kind of LA vibe, which is wrap, silk, really relaxed, almost a bit bohemian. I saw this and it ticked all those boxes and I absolutely love it. It's really loose, really beautifully fitted. It's quite low, but it ties up at the side and it's got a huge, like a nice leg slit. It's gorgeous. It looks great with like, it would look great with something like Vans, kind of dressed down with a biker jacket, but equally looks lovely with espadrilles. It's something a little bit more put together. And I was just really impressed with that. I was, I haven't really been in this, so I was really, really excited to find a few great dresses. The last thing I picked up in H&M is this amazing 70s style print. It reminds me of the kind of thing you'd see in like a vintage homeware shop. It's got that 70s almost tablecloth, tea towel thing going on with these huge, ostentatious, bright flowers on it. I love it. I think it's so cool. 
It's got this amazing bardot neckline, which I actually think you can pull up to make it more of a diagonal neckline on the shoulders, which I think is really nice. It's also got these really cool balloon sleeves, which are slightly different for a lot of the bardot tops I've seen, and it's just a really nice kind of smocky shape. Can look really great tucked in with jeans as well. I like things that are kind of smocked, but equally enough fabric that you can tuck them in. Look really, really great with white jeans, some espadrilles, again, espadrilles are everything. And I just think it's a really cool piece, it's quite out there, I'd probably style it with my hair up, some big hoops, you know, kind of pull it back everywhere else and just let the top do the talking. But I absolutely love that, I think it's really great, and hopefully going to have enough time to wear it while the sun's still out, so fingers crossed. Next stop was a little visit to And Other Stories. I've spoken about them so many times in lots of fashion videos, and they are probably one of my favourite go-to online shops ever. I saw this top. I think I've seen it in white on Lily and Anna, um, I think I've seen it on a couple of other people, can't remember, memory's like a sieve. Anyway, I picked up the red version and I absolutely love it, I've worn it such a lot already. I actually wore it on the day we got engaged, oh. um, sorry about the sop, um, but I think this is really gorgeous. Again, it's a nice wrap top, so it comes quite low, but you can kind of adjust it as you like so you can make it more conservative. I think the thing I love most about wrap tops is that you can decide how you want it to look based on your kind of bust shape and your size and it's just really really easy it's a great thing with denim little trainers and it's just a really good fail safe thing it looks great with cut off shorts as well when and if the weather is good enough so absolutely love that also picked up this bag and other stories is another great shop for leather goods and bags i really struggle on the high street to find really great accessories um, but I do find that another story is get it right every time. They do really classic, great shapes. They're kind of mid-range price points, so I think about £100, but everything's so beautifully made, and everything I have from them lasts forever. Or, well, for as many years as they've been going on the high street. Not for forever yet, but they're just really, really great pieces. Beautifully made, and they have that kind of look where you think it could have cost a lot more money. So I think you're getting a really good value piece here. And this bag is just great. It's like a little box bag. If it's a book in it, which is always important for me, it's got like a little popper closure and just you can wear it with the um, strap or without, which I absolutely love. So you can wear it on your arm like Jackie O, which I think is great. So absolutely love that. The next thing I've picked up is from Warehouse and they're a brand that I again wax lyrical about and is this dress, which is absolutely gorgeous because it's this elasticated material. It looks a lot smaller than it actually is. Like... It stretches out, I promise, but it's again this kind of bardo neckline, which I like to wear kind of higher up, um, but it's this indigo denim midi dress, again, really great for throwing on. I love the fact that it's this great stretchy elastic, it kind of fits up to higher point of your waist and then kind of comes out in a skater style, um, so it's just really flattering, really gorgeous to wear, looks great with a little basket bag, it's got that kind of classic 60s, 70s French Parisian thing going on and it's just a great fail safe piece. It's something about indigo denim I absolutely love with dresses. I think it looks really timeless and it's just a great material and again Warehouse and one of those brands are so affordable, great products, great design and you just can't really go wrong so I'm really happy with that. Moving straight on into the denim category are these dungarees which are buried, completely buried and these actually just arrived yesterday. I ordered them kind of almost quite impulsively um, from Free People. I absolutely love Free People and I saw these on ASOS and they are these awesome dungarees and they've got these really wide legs but they're kind of ankle lengths, they crop at a really gorgeous place and it's this really deep V which I think I must have seen, I think it was Alexa Chung years and years ago wearing this with a blouse and a basket bag, like these long dungarees which I thought were amazing, I haven't seen anything like them since. But I picked these up and I just thought they were really great. I wear my monkey dungarees endlessly on my blog and all the time and I'm really looking for another pair that's slightly different um, but can just extend my collection a little bit because they are. I wear them like I wear jeans, I wear them all the time, I've only got one pair that I wear all the time. So really, really happy with these. These cost, I've not got the cost on them, I'll pop all the links below, I can't tell you the price, but free people are slightly more expensive but again their product's amazing, great quality, great design. And yeah, I'm just really, really happy with these. I'm really excited to wear them. I think I'll be wearing them with blouses, um, a little band t-shirts, Converse, absolutely anything. Again, dungarees, they're like jeans, wear them with everything. They are safe. And last but not least, the last item that I've added, I think I've had this in my wardrobe a couple of months now, so I feel like some of this is like over a few weeks, um, slash months. So hopefully things will still be available, similar items available, but this dress is from Madewell. 
and again it's a wrap dress, it's a wrap midi dress. I, it's one of those things that they're very much a trend piece at the moment but still they're something that you can wear all the time and it's the kind of thing that if I said to you I had this in my wardrobe since 2008 I don't think anyone would say no you haven't. It's got that kind of timeless element to it. Um, perhaps it's because they're kind of vintage inspired, that tea dress feel. But I absolutely love this one. This is a really lovely kind of caramelly honey colour, like a beige. With these really pretty little brown orange flowers on them. It's from Madewell, like I said. They're stocked on their supporter, which is great because I absolutely love Madewell. Can only get it in the US. I think they do ship to the UK though, so don't hold me to that. But I saw this, it's really gorgeous, and I've been wearing it quite a lot just for days when I'm either around the house and need to go out for meetings. It is just, I think a lot of the pieces that I do include in these kind of videos are just things I can wear for everything. I'm not someone that buys a lot of occasion pieces. I like things that I can wear when I'm at home, because I work from home all the time, or pieces that I can wear out to meetings or dinners. I don't want lots of things that can only be used for one purpose. So everything's multifaceted, everything's got a lot of uses. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of noise. I've got the window open, it's quite warm today. Um, there might have been some dogs, some aeroplanes, you know, what can you say, what can you say, what can you do? I hope you really enjoyed this video, um, I will be back next week with another video, I think I'm going to do some homeware stuff coming up, um, I've got a little ethical fashion video coming up, so stay tuned for that, I really hope you enjoyed that, if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all the rest of it, and I'll see you soon. Light's just changing, we timed it well, bye!